Hello everybody and a very warm well welcome to today's video. In today's video we're going to be talking about the world of receipt capture and just how darn good it can be for you for making sure that you are putting all of that information into QuickBooks in the most minimal of way possible. My name is Aaron Patrick. This video is going to help you be more efficient at getting data into QuickBooks Online. So don't you dare miss it. My name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer of fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, head of accounts here at Boffix, and also your friendly podcaster who goes live each and every 8.30 a.m. on a Monday morning for Ask the Accountant. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the magic that is receipt capture in QuickBooks Online. And I do feel like this is one of the features that gets missed every now and again. And people forget how brilliant the solution is and just how easy it is to use. But first of all, what is receipt capture? Well, it's dead straightforward. You got a receipt, you need to get it into QuickBooks Online. How are you gonna do that? Well, honestly, it couldn't be easier. All I'm gonna do is grab my phone, I'm gonna go and open up my QuickBooks app, and I need this receipt into QuickBooks. What do I do? I open it up, and at the top there it says snap receipt. I press snap receipt, it opens up my camera, I grab my receipt, hello, and I press use this photo. And that's it. And in essence, video done but it's so much more than that you see what's happened is quickbooks is now reading this information for us and what i find really cool it's not just receipts we can do bills as well and just the same idea grab my phone have a look at it press snap receipt go and grab the thing make sure it's in hand hello and if i press capture use this photo that will be brought in as well. Now, you don't have to just use your phone. I'm just showing this is the quickest way possible of doing it. If I was to go into QuickBooks Online and I was head over to the banking area and go to receipts, then actually it tells you the other ways of doing it. You can upload from computer, so you can grab some documents and put them straight in there. Really useful maybe if you've got a scanner and you just want to scan for you some documents and put them in. Really straightforward that way. Or you can even customize your receipt. So I've done receipts at quickbooks.com. And then what you have the opportunity to do is then be able to send those over there. And it's just gonna make your life easier because once you've got that customized email up and running and ready to go, that means that you can set rules within your Gmail, Outlook, whatever email provider you're using. And that means that every time that Virgin Media, for example, send you an invoice, well, just get it forwarded straight into QuickBooks. That way, it's one less thing for you to worry about, isn't it? But why do, why should we go to put in the items into receipt capture? Well, first of all, it's just really clever. So these are the items we've just taken a photo of. If I click onto it, now in this case, it's found a receipt for me to match against. And I'll explain what that means in a minute, but look what it's done. It's gone and seen this on the left-hand side and it's found the date, even though the date is all over the place on this one, like first of the third, 20 over there. You just got this horrible red thing, it's a bit crumbled as well. Um, it's found the amount, £58.40, £58.40, and it's even noticed that there's been £9.73 worth of that, and £9.73 sat there. Now, in this case, it's found an expense we've already got there from the bank, and it's now going to match it for me. So, basically, if you've already done your bank, you can use this to take photos to automatically add on the actual evidence, the receipt to prove that expense in the first place, which we really love. But... If I was in a position here where I'd never put this through the bank, well, I get to put my document type through here and I can choose if it's a receipt or a bill. It's extracted most of the information for me. I can choose where the bank has been paid for, what type of bank it or what type of tax it was. I can even choose my category down here as well. A new feature as well is the opportunity now to use split expense, which means that you can split those receipts into multiple different categories or tax bills so that you can make sure they're absolutely spot on. All the information we've shown you there can also be done in your phone. So you can go back to your QuickBooks app from there and you can actually go in and make sure that everything we've just said is also in there. How cool is that? Now, I mentioned the fact that you can create into a bill. So this Virgin Media one, again, has gone through QuickBooks. It's found the transaction. It's not the best photo in the world by the looks of it when I took that photo. Um, but it's still been able to find the £4.80 there gone through now if i go and look at the transaction itself and actually probably better if i zoom out a little bit on this one we've got a better chance to see it um 
and you can see exactly what this invoice looks like. But it's found that four pound eighty. It's put that in there. It's gone put that information there, and it's been able to actually go and see that transaction, which is huge and by far one of the best parts about this solution. Then you can create the bill, and then it can go through going from there. In fact, in the new bill area, so the bill functionality of QuickBooks Online. When you come to add a bill, like you've got up here, you have the option to upload from computer directly from here. So if you've already got the PDF, put it in here. It's going to start putting that information in. It's going to make it more accurate, speed up time, and it's just going to make it so much easier for you to use. But that's not all. You see, the thing about this is this technology isn't brand new and exclusive to QuickBooks. This whole OCR technology, taking a photo, bringing it in, taking a, a PDF and uploading that, you see, QuickBooks owns the solution, right? So that means it can be a little bit more clever in the way that it deals with it. Now, this bit's super clever. Now, because they've got that deep integration, because it's their own solution, then there's bits that we don't get in any others. For example, here, I'm in the for review section. Remember, for review typically means in QuickBooks world that it's not in QuickBooks. It means that we've still got to say what it is. Is it a match? Is it an ad? And we've got to process that transaction. But watch this. As I scroll down, there's this Tesco fuel here and it says one match found. Now, if I go to my receipts area and I look at what we've entered in here, we've got the opportunity for it saying £89.90, this Tesco superstore there. And while I'm here as well, it's also telling me there's a duplicate here. So it's making sure I don't double count anything. If I go to my banking area though, look at my Tesco fuels. Well, it's not actually found a match as such it's found a receipt that matches the attachment and, attachment and attached it for you. So instead of me guessing, is this motor expense or not? What VAT is it gonna be? And having to try and figure it all out. I just click on this little button here. I can see the transaction. Oh look, yeah, it was, it did have 20% on it. It was fuel by the looks of it, diesel. So I'm correct to put that to motor expenses, maybe even put it to motor fuel, but it's completely getting rid of the guesstimate. I don't need to guess now. Once I add this, I can split it here if I need to as well. Once I add it, then in QuickBooks Online, within QuickBooks Online, that transaction is now absolutely perfect. It's got the one online banking match at the top telling me whereabouts it appeared in my bank. So I know that it was definitely a legit transaction. I know now that things have been put to the right place. What I also have is a copy of the receipt at any point in time to go back to and look at. And that's all by using the power of receipt capture. And there we have it, there's a receipt capture. It can take bills, it can take receipts, and then it gives you an opportunity to speed it up. If you can get receipt capture into your workflow, you're gonna have a much better time. And we also know that more updates are coming. That split expense receipt feature, that's brand new. That was only released a couple of weeks ago. So we know that there's gonna be more features coming. QuickBooks are looking at it, so it's definitely a time for you to be looking at it as well and see exactly how you can get it through. We've used this on loads of our clients and it's so much easier. What it becomes more than anything is a bit of a checklist as well. If I'm gonna be taking any expense or having a look at any cost relating to my business, I take a photo of it, use my phone, and I don't need to think about it until next time I need to actually do some up bookkeeping. But the best thing is, is because of that deep integration, QuickBooks knows what to do. If it's already in QuickBooks, it'll provide a match. If it's in the bank account, it'll give you the opportunity to match it there as well. Love, 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 love this feature. Definitely something I wanna be looking into more. I'm hoping QuickBooks gives us more tools. For me, the best thing they could ever do is give us access to the rules scenario. If we could use rules within receipt capture, well then we're opportunity there to automate to the nth degree. And that's something that could be really powerful for small business. And what do you think? Do you like receipt capture? It's definitely a lot more cost effective than some of the solutions out there because it costs absolutely nothing more. It's just part and parcel of your subscription. But it does have its limitations from time. The fact that you do have to be really mindful. You can't automate a hell of a lot out of it at the moment. But the fact that it is there, it is available within the product without having to install any other piece of software, which for me is the most important bit about it, is just an absolute godsend. I love, love, love Receipt Capture. Looking forward to more updates coming. And when those updates come, we'll be the first to talk about it. So make sure that you're subscribed, make sure that you've liked the video and all that sort of stuff so you don't miss out on when Receipt Capture comes. But it's not just about me, what about you? What do you think to Receipt Capture? Let me know in the comments below. Love to know how you're finding Receipt Capture for your business or for your practice. And other than rules, what big feature do you wanna see coming through on Receipt Capture going forward? My name's been Aaron Patrick. 
as always thank you so much for supporting this channel don't forget to like and subscribe because it really does help this video has been an absolute pleasure to do for you and i will see you in the next video bye for now Just for fun.